So I got this internal threading tool from uh, Banggood. It was like eight dollars. Takes the flat uh, inserts. Uh, part number is SNL-0016Q16. And let me show you the style uh, of uh, threading tool this is. Give me just a second to. Okay. Those type of inserts are my favorite threading inserts. <clears throat> For my external threading, uh, where'd it go? No. Oh. That's what I've got. So it's the same type of insert. So you know, external threading and film there like that. Now what's unique about this one is that the way I like to thread internally, and let me show you. I like to run the lathe in reverse and go in the inside uh, or the the farthest uh, you know side of the tube and come away from the uh, chuck so we're gonna do that I'm gonna get all set up here and we're gonna we're gonna actually do that and I'll sh I'll show you why I like doing it this way there's two main reasons and let me show you. let me get set up here and uh, We'll, we'll run a thread. Okay, I got the tool mounted up, got it centered. <clears throat> I actually have it just a couple thousandths, maybe about one thousandth above center. I'm going to run the lathe in reverse. I have the compound. Let me show you that. You still want to set your compound 29 degrees to the left. And the way I've got this thing set up, so you, hopefully you can see it, it, it's kind of a tight, tight deal. It's, the camera's going to be in my way a little bit, but whatever it takes to try to get the shot. And the reason I like to thread internally this way when I can is for one, you're moving away from the headstock. So no, I didn't show you that. I've got to stop set up so whenever I go back in I just go right to the stop it stops puts me right where I want each and every time um, I dial uh, you know however much of a cut that I want <laughs> but here's the two main reasons I, I, I love threading this way for one you can more easily see your cutter in your thread just by looking at the uh, at the same angle that the camera's at so I can I can see the cutter um, I don't have to lean over the lathe to take a look in here to see what the cutter is doing and I'm going away from the headstock so once it exits the the part I don't have to worry about coordinating you know both my uh, dials to to pull out of the thread you know right at the last second so you can speed this thing up and i mean you can thread away from the headstock a lot fat at a lot faster speed than you normally would feel comfortable with if you're going towards the headstock especially if you're going towards the shoulder inside a part like this this has actually got a shoulder i, I know you may not be able to yeah you can see it there i think you know there's a shoulder in there well if you're going towards the headstock 
even if you have a dial indicator set up or you got a DRO that you're watching, you're not going to be able to disengage right on the money each and every time. And if you really, you know, miss your miss your spot, you're going to crash the cutter into the shoulder. So this way, I just go straight to the stop, bam, dial in, you know, however much I want, and uh, come out. And uh, I mean, it just it works. It works great. Anyway, let me let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. So uh, again, remember, you've got to make sure that your lathe is going in reverse. Um, of course, your lead screw's got to be going away from the uh, uh, ch uh, yeah headstock, and everything ought to go smooth. It's uh, other than that, it's just like you know threading uh, towards the headstock. So I'm going to be doing a uh, 24 thread per inch uh, thread, and this is just demonstration. So. You know, we're going to make a thread, and that's pretty much going to be it. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so I'm just barely touching right there. I'm up against my stock. I'm going to go ahead and dial in. We'll do about five thousandths. Now for a 24 inch thread on this lathe, any number, one through eight. Go back to the stop. Back to zero on the cross slide. I'm going to dial in another five on the compound. Go back to the stop. Another five thousandths. Back to the stop. Now we're going to do about two and a half thousandths. This is just a piece of scrap. Pretty good cut. I don't know how good it's coming in on the camera. That worked perfect.
clean that up just a little bit more. Back in gear. Yep, don't forget, reverse. with a little bit of scotch brine. See if I can get a closer, a better angle. Again, this is a, and basically what this is, just a review of the tool from Banggood. And it is, it, you can see that it's it's got the proper angle cut into it. The, the bit's actually sitting at an angle like they're supposed to. I don't know, maybe five degree angle or so. It's got flats. It's got flats on both the top and bottom so whenever you clamp it into your holder that part will be you know square but this is <clears throat> set at an angle the way it should and all in all for for this piece of tube which like I said I don't know what kind of tube it is it cut a nice thread anyway just kind of wanted to show I'm very happy with this cut. This is the first time I've done anything with this cutter. I just pulled it out of the package and uh, that's the first thread that I've cut with it. I love it so far. So looks like you could probably do uh, three quarter diameter, you know, minimum. Let me see. Let me, I'm going to take a measurement here. see how close we can so that's showing about 665 thousandths I don't know you know um, oh, that should be yeah so yeah, about 665 thousandths is what you the minimum that you would have to have roughly probably a little bit bigger than that to be able to get that in there and do a thread and again, let me get you the number. This was literally, uh, I think it was eight dollars. I know the sixteen means sixteen millimeter, which is basically five eighths of an inch. But yeah, it took me a while to find one of these. There's only a few of them out there. A lot of people don't don't really care to thread like that. But I'm telling you, that's. That's the only way to do it, in my opinion. As long as there's no reason why you can't, for some reason, that that's the way that's the way to do it. Again, you can see your cutter engage. You can see the thread being cut by the tip of the cutter, and you're coming away from the headstock, which is the number one thing. That way, you don't. You, you, there's no way, and and you know, no way that you're going to crash that cutter into the into that shoulder make you some kind of a stop so that you can, and you don't have to have a stop put your dial indicator there or look at your DRO make sure you just come back to the same place ever each and every time the stop just makes it convenient because you can just quickly wheel it back and, and it hits the stop and you're ready to ready to go but anyway that's all I got for you for you take care